I have a couple of routers set up. Usually, I access router 1, but sometimes I need to access router 2 from router 1. And I'm thinking about setting up a script which does this for me. But I have a problem. Router 2 has a long password, so every time I want to access it, I'm prompted for this password. To keep things secure, while well, make it much easier for me to log in, I can set up an RSA key pair. I will generate these keys on router 1 and then import the public key to router 2. That way, router 1 will be allowed to access router 2 without a password. Let's go to IPS Sage section. You can see some settings here, but there's also an option to export uh, the host key. I'll also add a prefix to the file name. As you can see, two files appeared in my file list, admin rsa and admin rsa.pub. The first file is the private key and the second one is the public key. On RouterOS, we need to take another step to start using this private key. Go to user ssh keys and then in the private subsection, type import private key file admin rsa and for the user admin. There is no passphrase, so I'll just uh, press enter. Okay, as you can see, the private key file disappeared from our file list, which is good. We don't want anybody to accidentally copy it. And now we're going to give the public key to router2. I can actually just drag and drop it into the win box of router2. Then go to the user SSH key section and import. Here you need to pick uh, the public key file and also set the user to be admin. Now if we print, we can see that the user admin now has a key. Let's try to SSH from router1 to router2. As you can see, we got into router2 from router1 without any prompts for passwords. But what if we try to SSH into router2 from our desktop? Okay, so we're prompted for a password. So I'll type in the password that I've used. And the permission has been denied. This is because of another setting in RouterOS which prevents anybody from logging in with a password if they have an RSA key set up. So let's say we don't want this to be the case. On router 2, we need to go to IP SSH. Here we have the always allow password login setting, which is set to no by default. Let's set it to yes. Now, if we try to SSH from our desktop again, we're prompted for password and it works. I got in on the router, but let's say I do not want to be using passwords anymore. So in that case, we need to create a new key pair for every device that is going to be accessing this router. So let's set the allo password login back to no. And now let's create a key pair from our Linux desktop. We can do this with the SSH key gen. We're gonna add the flag T and RSA so that it knows what algorithm it needs to use. And then we also need to change the bit size. So add the flag B and 2048. This is because of our own setting. In the IP SSH setting, we have set the host key size to 2048. So whenever we want to use a key generated elsewhere, it needs to be generated with the same bit size. We're prompted where to save these files and the default location is okay for us. We're not gonna use any passphrase in this case. Let's copy this uh, newly created public key file to router2. It's in my .ssh folder. So I'm just gonna drag it to router2. And now I'm gonna import it just as I did before. Okay, it has been added, so I'll try to SSH. And we got in without any prompts for passwords. If you like this type of content, then please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon.